life's like a diamond you just got to dig it hello my fellow miners prospectors and rock hounders welcome back to another video from the crater diamond state park this is going to be more of a learning video we're going to study the different types of gravel walk around the field and just look for gravel that's been concentrated piled up in areas i'm going to work the low spots let you all have an idea of what the gravel can look like and just we're going to do stuff like that in this video just try to find gravel worth digging that can very well contain diamonds if you'd like to see more videos like this be sure and drop a thumbs up i'd appreciate it all right let's get started we'll be set up at the south wash so to get material from the south wash which is which is right there we could go to the east drain or we could go to the west drain i have never found a diamond on the west drain we may get a little bit of material from the pig pen which is just near the west drain it's just below the south wash a good friend of mine named shirley strong she's a fourth generation diamond miner she knows a lot about this place and that's one of her favorite spots because it's one of the lowest spots here at the crater of diamonds so you got to think all that material is going to wash down to that area so that's why shirley really likes to dig down there the diamonds are so beautiful in that pig pen area i'll probably go down there as well since it's not far it's just right below this wash station right here and you'll be in the pig pen right, i'm going to get set up right here go get my buckets out of my cage get my buckets filled with gravel and i also i'm on a short time frame i have six hours to get the buckets get get them washed we're going to try to get 10 buckets done in six hours get everything centered up so it's definitely going to be a rush rush day hopefully we can find something very valuable so i'll be set up here at the south wash i'm going to head over to the west drain which over canary hill there'll be a drain on the other side of that small pavilion and cages and also go down here and get a few buckets of the pig pen see what we can get out of that because there's been some really nice diamonds found Shirley Strong loves that area and that just kind of wants me to it just makes me want to get down there and get some of that material this is where I started at when I first came out here I started here right here in this field in all this area and I didn't know what I was doing and I spent four years of wasted time but now I have an idea okay I'll be taking 12 buckets today need my shovel missing something what I love about my new screen you can clean your shovel off with them okay now we're ready Hey, here's Canary Hill, and right over there is the West Drain. Okay, I'll leave my wagon here, and now you just kind of take a bucket or two and a shovel and walk around this West Drain and look for some gravel laying around, scoop it up. Okay, here's the west drain. And you can see down here we have a lot of gravel just laying there waiting for somebody to, to scoop up. Check out all that gravel. So this is definitely a good 
spot. But we're not going to be digging really deep down like that. All we're going to do is scrape like this right here and just get that amount off the top, a couple inches. Put that in your bucket. And you'll go ahead and do that to all of this that you can see. We'll come over here. A little bit of gravel in the water, but not much. They've been working on it pretty good. Here's some gravel. That's what I'll be doing is focusing on this area. Just kind of scrape the top. Probably just get two, maybe three buckets right here. And we'll move on to another spot. All right, so I probably got a bucket out of that spot right there. You can see where I've dug into it a couple inches. And that's all we're going to do. A lot of gravel yet to get. I'm going to come over here and see what I can get out of this water. Like a lot of stuff built up down here. You get down in the water here, you can just, just gravel everywhere. Okay, got some more to put in that bucket. We'll probably be good enough down here. We'll move on somewhere else, but I'm gonna work on getting, I'm gonna work on getting this gravel in the water. And a lot of times the diamonds, you know, they're hydrophobic. They do not like water. Water cannot penetrate a diamond. So when it rains, the diamonds try to swim up out of the water, up along the edge of the water. You know, like over here, I mean, it's not a bad idea to scrape right here in the middle as well, but you got a good chance of working these sides as well to get your diamond. Since the diamonds do not like water, they try to float away and get out of it. Okay, that's full. Let's go ahead and get that other bucket. Put some of that material in here. We'll get out of here. Go down to the pig pen, get a couple buckets. Yeah, it's just about half full. Go ahead and get these buckets filled up pretty good since it's the last day I'll be working. Okay, that's cool. All right, we got a couple buckets out of the west drain. Now we're going to move on to the pig pen, get a couple buckets out of that. Move over to the south trench, get a few buckets out of that. Probably go down to the snake pit, get a couple buckets out of that. Go to the east drain, get a couple buckets out of that. And then I'll be ready to go home.
to work yet. Okay, I'm gonna dump these two buckets off from the west drain. I'll take my wagon on down to the pig pen, grab a couple buckets, and maybe where that person is, where those people are, and those furrows might pay out. Then we'll probably get a bucket or two from the new trench. Well, the south trench is not new. And maybe a bucket or two out of the snake pit and the east drain. And we have at least six more hours. Star of Shreveport. This was found in the pig pen. You can pause that and read it if you'd like to. That's where we're at. We're going to get a few buckets from down here. Hopefully get a diamond bigger than that one. Alright, so I'm over here prospecting, looking for something to dig up. There's just all kinds of gravel in here, but the thing about this area, there's so much of this right here. Of that fine, fine material, which you really don't want that. There's a lot of it down here. So we want to try to avoid scooping that up and just focus on getting the gravel, which I'm not seeing a whole lot over here. But that's the thing, you gotta walk around and find it. It's just not gonna be everywhere. Here's a nice little stretch of gravel, but it's a lot of bigger rocks. I'm looking for the smaller. <laughs> Maybe that's why I never found a diamond here because it's just not a whole lot of gravel. But they're here. Okay, I'm going to do some prospecting and see if I can find some gravel to dig up. Catch back with everybody in a few. Alright, I'm pretty much in the pig pen. You've got a sluice back here. If you wanted to bring some classifiers, you can have water. Or if you need to fill up your wash tub you can bring it down here and you got water but yeah you know here's what we're looking for is more of a something like that but we just need more of it and i'm just not seeing it down here and time's a ticking so i need to hurry up and find something to put in the buckets and this right here is pretty much the lowest point at the crater of diamonds that and the snake pit is pretty hard to determine which one's lower, but they're both at the south end. It's all uphill from here, and everything heavy comes down this way. So this is a really good spot. It's been looked over a lot, though. God damn it. Okay, I've been working in this area right here. I've been scraping what little gravel I've seen. There's just so much silt. It's just not cool. So I'm gonna try to work on getting a, another bucket over here. It's thin picking for sure. And then I'll head over to the south trench, which is just straight through the trees. Definitely get some buckets over there. 
we'll definitely get our two buckets out of that and then we'll move over to the snake pit and to me when it's a really hard rain this over here is gushing with water and this over here is gushing with water you can still see the water coming down So there's a lot of heavies through this whole stretch, through that channel right there. So I'm just going to work on scraping that about two inches. Now I'll get that bucket filled. Headed down to the south trench. I'm going to get a couple buckets down here and move over to the snake pit. All right, so we're at the south trench. The gravel has thinned out since I was here last, but there's still plenty to get. You can see right here, nice trail of gravel you could chase. I'm gonna walk around in the south trench. Check out this huge chunk of timber, this really long timber I've just dug up. Probably a 10 foot piece of wood. That's crazy. That's why they call this the artifact side. All right, I got two buckets out of the south trench. Let's move over to the snake pit and get two buckets from there. All right, now we're making our way into the snake pit. There's the start of it. You might remember that video. Some of you may have seen the video from the snake pit. This time we're gonna work our way all the way to the very end by the out of bound signs and get some material from that. That's a really low end. It's not as low as the pig pen, but this is definitely a lower end at the diamond mine, which can contain a lot of diamonds somebody made a crater at the crater i wonder who done that okay i've made my way to the very end of the snake pit and the diamond mine boundary and i've been digging around in this spot and seeing a lot of good gravel but I'm going to have to dig a little bit to get to it. There's so much silt covering all this. I can't just scrape it like we're doing. So I'm going to have to dig down a little bit to the gravel. Scoop it up. And move on up to the east drain. Get some of that material. I think we got four more buckets to gather. Then we'll be ready to wash. Getting down to about five hours to go. All right. It's got a bucket from all of that gravel. Lots of gravel in there. Okay, let's get one more bucket. May move up a little bit and get it. Okay, so I just got a bucket out of this area right here and it's just down in the low spot. So it's gonna be loaded with heavies, which could contain diamonds what it looks like all right let's go get a few more buckets and start washing all right we got eight buckets hauled up I'm gonna go get four more I'm gonna get them out of the east drain I'm just down from the straw Wagner shovel in the east drain and what I'll be doing here is just scraping everything in the water that I can get. And then a lot of this stuff right here is just like gold. Bigger rocks, bigger nuggets. Bigger rocks, bigger diamonds.
may want to do your buckets three quarters down here because this is all concentrated material with large rocks so the buckets are extremely heavy a full bucket is around 80 pounds or more okay, i got a bucket of the material in the water i'm going to work on getting some of this material that has got pushed out diamonds are hydrophobic just like gold they do not like water water cannot penetrate a diamond so when it's raining the diamonds are trying to swim out of the water so it's not a bad idea to work up here on the sides as well now these rocks you can just throw out of the way you know this is all pushed up from the last rain so nobody has dug in this Good thing there's not really any regulars anymore because they just, if there was, they would have saw this. And there's been people down here all week digging. Mm, gotta love that sound. Lots of gravel. May have to come back over here. Now you scoop up them big rocks, throw it in your bucket, then grab it and tap it and throw it out. Okay, it's full. <laughs> I'm gonna get the last two buckets in this spot because I have a really good filling over here. Now I'm gonna get these other two buckets right up in here. That's our 12 buckets. We'll head up there to the south wash and get them knocked out, hopefully in an hour or two. Okay, so anytime you're down in this drain and there's water flowing, you just don't want to get a shovel and then tilt it like that and all that water drains out all your diamonds just drained out like i say the diamonds don't like to be wet or float or trying to get out of that stuff so it's always a good idea to scoop it and keep your shovel level never get your material on port like that You'll lose everything. And you really want your bucket to be right here beside you. When you go to make the scoop, you don't lose any material. The less material you lose, the better, because you don't want it all to pour out. This thing is loaded with gravel, guys. Check that out. But I'm gonna keep on working on this right here. This stuff down here is really good. one more bucket to go that'll be 12 buckets still in the east drain and while we're here I was going to show you that it's not a bad idea to check these little small cliffs that drop down before the water because there's a lot of good gravel normally just right where it's dropped off and you always want to make sure there's just not a big tailing pile from somebody last week and it just that fell down 
So always kind of make sure there's a lot of small gravel, big rocks, because if they worked it, there wouldn't be much of that small stuff. All right, last four. Let's go get them washed up. And I'll probably do each area at a time from the east drain. This is the south trench. Those are the far end of the snake pit. This is the south trench. This right here would be the pig pen. And that's the west drain. All right, let's get them worked. Okay, time to wet sift like a beast. That's how I do it. Here's the first bucket, top screen of the west drain. Nice chunk of quartz. Almost peed my pants. So yeah, it looks pretty good. There's some red jasper. Yeah, a little bit of red. Kind of light red. We want that dark red like this. A little better. Yeah, yeah we got some conglomerate. A small piece of conglomerate. And it's hard to tell where this material came from. They have mixed it all up. This could have come from the east drain. We don't know. It has been stirred up for so many years. Okay, here's the second bucket out of the west drain. Got another small quartz, but no diamond on the top screen. No three carat today. Time to move on to the pig pen buckets. We got these two here to do. Let's see what the pig pen looks like. All right, I scraped the west drain bottom screen like I always do and yeah not too great a little bit of spinel see some quartz here but yeah not all like we always see in some other spots all right I'm gonna put my screens to the test I got one bucket of the pig pen we're gonna go ahead and dump the other bucket and see if it'll wash two buckets at once pray my elbow survives Here's the second bucket. Going on. Going in. The mud. <laughs> you see, the pig pen is just full of silt. An old tailings dropping from the old mining companies. For some reason, there's been some big diamonds found in that area. All that silt, a lot of gravel for all the silt. Nice chunk of quartz. more quartz Maybe. Oh. Oh, yeah, 
There's a huge chunk of calcite. at once. Not DMI. Especially two buckets of the pig pen. That's just too much silt. That's what all this is. so much of that get out of there. And it's pretty much gone. It's all gone. It's done. Probably eight minutes. All right, I got six buckets to go. I'm just about out of time. I have two and a half hours to get six buckets washed, get it all centered, clean up my cage, pack up my tent. So I may have to finish working the centers at the house. Okay, the next two is going to be from the south trench. And then we have six more to go. The snake pit and the east drain. Eight total. Alright, so on the second bucket from the south trench I hit a gravel layer that you just loaded with gravel and when I was digging into it I could tell it was a layer that was exposed I went ahead and checked that out that is awesome so maybe agate it's so cool ah slippery Maybe agate. Lots of good stuff on the top screen. Hopefully the bottom's got a diamond. All right, I was able to get the 12 buckets washed before they close. I have about one hour to get out of here, go back to my camp, get my tent rolled up, get everything packed up, Make the five hour drive back home and we'll look at centers. I'll see you all at the house. All right, here's the last flip of the west drain.
looks really good. Get about 15, 20 buckets of that or more, you'll get a diamond. Some people get lucky and get a diamond in just a few buckets. I'll go over all of this on the tray in my shop. Might find one. Okay, there's the reflip. So you can just scoop up that little bit right there and do it again and do it again. You know you're getting everything. All right, just made the flips from the pig pen. Two buckets. And check out all these heavy minerals. It's just loaded with them. I just can't believe how much that was in this stuff. And this is the lowest end of the Crater of Diamonds for sure. It's just loaded. Let me know if you see a diamond. Okay, here's the reflip of those two centers. And as you can see, we have lots of heavies yet. So I'll scoop all that up and probably work this again, maybe two more times just to get everything. And I'm focusing on just getting the heavies. As you can see in this pan right here, take a look at the pan and it's just white. Cause I'm just barely scraping the center, putting it in the pan and reworking this barely scraping that you know, I'm not trying to get any of this anything over here the next time you do it will come over here it'll keep working its way to the center that way you're just looking at more heavies a lot more heavies which means diamonds Okay, so I'm picking around at my center. Yes, you can pick at your center. You just don't pick at other people's centers. All right, here's the third flip, meaning the second reflip. I've redone this. I have worked this three different times and check out that center. It's starting to thin out. So I'll probably scoop that up, do it one more time, and call it good. And I'll have a nice amount of heavies only. All right, these two flips here from the east drain and the snake pit um, when you work that area there's so much concentrate for me to get all that out the door in one day I had to center it up which gave me about a half a little under a half a bucket and here's the center from the snake pit and the east drain together just loaded with indicators Lots of calcite and quartz. You know, it's not the best, but we've got some spinel mixed in there, the black shiny rock. I see some hematite, a piece of magnetite. Okay, let's take a look at the other one. And here's the other center get closer looks like it has a few more darker indicators like hematite and magnet magnetite spinel 
and I have just a little bit left in the bucket. So yeah, that's the uh, snake pit and the east drain. All right, went ahead and got that other material worked and centered. Looks really good. Here's the other one. Lots of hematite in that one. And you know, the east drain and the snake pit, it's all pretty much the same material, so I mixed it up. And here is the third center. Just loaded as well. All right, it's time to take all this material and go over everything on the tray. All right, here's all the material dried, ready to go over on the tray. Over here we have the pig pen material. And then this would be the west drain. You will definitely get diamonds because they're so much heavier than a diamond. And the little small green rock, which we'll hopefully come across here in this video, is chromium dioxide, and it's even heavier than the garnets. So now, I need to go get a sample from Fugus Bank, Beatty's Hill, the far, far north, what I call it, the north drain. Oh, and there's a few other spots out in the field that don't really have names, they're just kind of out there, so we'll... Hit several more spots up, get two buckets, get that diamond. 